All right, well, he went from TikTok to CMT, and he's here to tell us all about his hit single, Drive, and his whole career journey. Yes, please welcome country music artist Taylor Holder. Taylor, you have 20 million followers on TikTok, okay? How did you get started? How did you transition from that? Of course, it's always a, it's, it's always a funny story telling this because everyone's like, how'd you get started? And, and, and honestly, it's, it's kind of funny to laugh at now because I, I started as, as, I was on Vine and, and, and music and all that stuff back there, but on, on, on TikTok, I, I, I kind of blew up as like that like hot guy on the <laughs> internet. Like it, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to think about, but that's, that's kind of how it all got started. I was always doing music, but, but I blew up as that over here. And, and, um, and I, I very quickly like started getting a big following and stuff like that. And, and as I was like gaining that, I was like thinking, you know, like where where do I go with this? And music is something that I've always done, I've always loved. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to figure out how to. It's all like this like weird system in this game that you have to play to like right. switch everything over. And um and so I was very slowly like working on moving. Or I was doing a lot of pop stuff before and and uh, and stuff like that. And, and uh, country is, is where my heart is, and, and that's what I love. That came out here. I I did a couple shows and, and wrote with really awesome people. And I was like. I got to do that. I got to move. I, and I, it was literally within the span of like a month. I, I up and moved, and I came out and decided this is where I want to be. It was it was kind of crazy how it all happened. Well, I've got to say, hot or not, which you're very cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're smart because not everybody knows how to leverage mm -hmm. it. I mean, that's you know, not only did you get all this following, you were then able to take it to the next step, which mm -hmm. is really amazing. I mean, it is. It's a strategy. It's odd. I don't get it. Yes, ma'am. It, it is. That's it's just funny you say that because that's where a lot of people struggle. I feel like is um, is the longevity and everything. It's it's easy to, to 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 be like I guess they say like uh, like one hit wonders right you you kind of mm -hmm. come in you can be you can get a, a lot of followers really fast and make a lot of money in it but um but withstanding that for a long period of time and, and transitioning to that uh, to something that is like longevity and in, in, in a whole career is is definitely difficult and not a lot of people can do it so yeah. and uh, and I'm still I'm still working on it we're we're figuring it out yeah and you made mention about writing with some big names uh, Shay Mooney from Dan and Shay Parker McCollum you're now celebrating something really cool tell Tell us about the CMT celebration that's going on. Yes, it's uh, they 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 just premiered my my new single Drive, the music video for Drive. Um, having them in my corner is a, is a dream come true, and that, that's it's so amazing. I, I just met the whole the whole office and, and all of the people that that run uh, run it over there, and they were they were so welcoming, so so awesome, so nice, and everything. And uh, and it's been it's been a dream come true. I mean, getting getting to write and perform with these these amazing people like Parker and Shay. Uh, you know, these these are all individuals I've looked up to for years and, and listened to their music. So, so not only coming here and meeting them, but also, also that's the one thing that surprised me so much about Nashville was was just mm -hmm. how welcoming and how much of a family everybody was here, and and uh, for them to take the time out of their day to, to spend some time with me and, and learn about me and write with me was really special. I love how you say after a month you said, okay, this is it. I feel it in my bones. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. What I mean, you live here in Nashville. You see the people playing down on Broadway. I love asking this question to musicians who have made it. What would you say to those musicians playing down there on Broadway? I keep going. Consistency is, is literally everything. With, with the internet, with music, with everything, um, it's so easy to get demotivated and like mm -hmm. slow down or stop or, or whatever, you know, with, with the way that the public responds to stuff, with the way that everyone has an input and, and, and a voice nowadays as well. It's very, sometimes it can be very criti criticizing and very demotivating. but. I mean, there's, there's, I know so many people as well that it took them 15 years before, before they finally like had something happen. And I just say consistency, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, it is hard. It's hard when you don't get the feedback you're, you're waiting for, you're mm. expecting, and then right. you lose motivation. But I, I like that. You know, I have to ask you, I mean, it is a miracle you are here right now. <laughs> you had a pretty gnarly little incident happen recently. I did. And we have some pictures that go along with it. Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened. Oh yeah, so I, I grew up uh, racing uh, motocross my whole life ever since I was three years old, and uh, I have a uh, so whenever we ride, we, we have like our big bikes that we race on and stuff like that, 250s, and and I uh, we have little 110s that we always ride. They're like little mini bikes, and, and that's like a very popular thing in the motocross industry. We always like we mod them out to where they're really fast and all this stuff, <laughs> and and so I have a I have a pit bike track at my house in Texas that I that I um, I have some land out there, and I build a track and and all that. We have a bunch of buddies that just come out and ride and. And not that I'm the most proud about it now, but we never wear helmets on on the one tens. We we always just rip them. It's it's whatever. They're one tens and and um. But the track that I built was was it was pretty gnarly. It had some pretty big jumps on it. And and I came. It was raining that day, and and it was all like sloppy. And I came around and hit this triple step up, and, and it's called an endo. But it basically, like, right when I came off the face of it, it just threw me like this, oh. like and like and. 
I, I don't know why I didn't let go. I just like held on. Hopefully we'd ride it out, and um, it, it didn't happen, obviously. And we, <laughs> I, I went over the bars, and and I ended up like I tried to roll out of it, and and I and I hit the ground, and I I, I broke a couple ribs, and I tore something in my shoulder, and then what actually messed my face up was. After I hit the ground, rolled out, the bike came over and oh, land, oh. landed on my face. Okay, ouch. Okay, <laughs> so we're helmet advocates it, now. It's so funny. Right. My parents, as a Christmas gift, I got a, I got a helmet. I Good. have so Thank many of them, but they got me another and helmet, Dad. and I was yes. like, oh, you. Thank you. Moral of so, the story. So definitely moral of the story. It could have been. I, I mean, yeah. I ended up, I ended up, you know, breaking my orbital bone, my nose, like a bunch of things, and and I, I definitely think like even though it that happened and it was really bad. I take it as a blessing because I very much could have got like something way worse. I could have right. got like a foot peg into my eye or something. You know, it, yeah. it could have been a lot worse. So it's a blessing that that's good. that that doesn't. Yeah. We got to hear way yeah. more music from you before yeah. anything yeah. happens. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Thank you, Thank you, you so We're much. excited for your future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Make sure to follow all of Taylor's fun videos and his rising career on his social platforms right now.